We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Chicago Cubs and the Arizona Diamondbacks. So coming to the plate, Javier Baez. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The 1-1 one, one home. Nope. To two and two now. Two two Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. David Bodie waits on deck. Sharp ground ball toward the hole. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Not expected. The second baseman. David. In now, David Bodie bounced softly in front of the plate. Throw on to first in time, one away. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Next to him will be Wilson Contreras. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. 1-1. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2 1 pitch sent out to straightaway center field. Marte is there now and he has it two gone. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Lifetime numbers against Robbie Ray. He's got three base hits in 18 at bats. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Back up the middle. Ahmed to his left. He's got it. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Digging in, Starling Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Hard on the ground towards short. There's Baez, and there's one gone to start the night. So one away here with the bases empty, and that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Almora is there, two gone. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Cattell Marte, no one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. One one on its way from Lester. And there's ball two now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Three balls, one strike to Patel Marte. Hit on the ground to short. Baez has it. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out, and the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Kyle Schwarber. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Here it comes on one and one. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. Three and one to the Cubs' left fielder. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. The next Cub up, Steven Souza, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 2-1 home. 
is laid off of for ball number three. Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two-run homer. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. The next 3 2. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Coming to the plate now, Albert Almora. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. The 1 1. Fouled away. One and two, here it comes. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Now to the plate, the pitcher, John Lester, and he may instead be asked to punt. We'll see how they approach the situation with one away. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Now a bunt attempt here. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Here's Javier Baez. One for one after a single this first time up. Schwarber, the runner at third. Souza on at second with two down. And it's one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Up next for Arizona, David Peralta. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. 1-1. Into right field, that's a base hit. So it's a good start to the inning for the Diamondbacks. Leadoff hitters aboard. The third baseman, Eduardo. Into the box, Eduardo Escobar. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hard hit ball to second. And there's one away. Now at the plate, Carson Kelly. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He got him. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Into the box, Christian Walker. He's got over his first six at-bats in the series so far. He's set the 3-1. Hit hard to the right. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Now at the plate, David Bodie. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up Chris Bryant. Bryant. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Lined hard to the left side, but foul. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Three and two, full count. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Scooped up. And there are two away now. So now with two out in the base is empty as Wilson Contreras. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. 
Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Full count, three and two. And the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Digging in, Ildemaro Vargas is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And he fouls this one off. Here's another one, too. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Robbie Ray. And it's fouled away. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And he popped him up. Fires into shallow left. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Starling Marte. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a line drive, but this will find the shortstop's glove for the third out of the inning. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate as we begin the top of the fourth. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So one away here in the Chicago fourth, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Two and one now to Steven Souza. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nick Ahmed. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. The count is 2 and 1. Heading out towards shallow right. Here comes Souza. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The better Digging in now, Patel Marte. Patel. Marte. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Good battle. Count remains full. Bases are empty. One man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, David Peralta, a base hit in his first trip. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Fouled off. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. So here's Albert Almora next. He popped out in his first trip. 
Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So in now for Chicago, John Lester. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. Cubs pitcher at the plate trailing with a one and two count. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. So it was a swinging strike three. John Lester goes down for out number two in the top half. A ball and two strikes now. Grounded up the first baseline. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Eduardo Escobar standing in as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Here's the one and one pitch. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. So striding forward now, Carson Kelly comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now Lester deals the 1 2. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. And that will become out number 2. Standing in, Christian Walker. The Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. And that one is gone. Standing in now, Hildemaro Vargas. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another full count pitch home. This is line to left. Schwarber will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Now in the box, David Bodie. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. The 2-2. Two -two. Popped up. And there's out number one. Stepping into the box, Chris Bryant. He was a ground out victim last time up. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Now batting. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Wilson Contreras. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. A ball and two strikes. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. The 2-2. Two -two. Anthony Rizzo would be next. Now the payoff pitch home. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Robbie Ray. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 1 1 on its way from Lester. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Fouled away. The one-two. Misses, ball two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Swing, and he pops him up, and that's in there. Base hit.
the right fielder, number two, Starling. At the plate, Starling Marte. Rounded back up the middle. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. The batter, number 13, Nick. At the plate now, Nick Ahmed. Popped him up. Contreras is there. One out. Ready for another shot now. Cattell Marte. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. A little bit outside. Two and one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. Now batting. One run, four hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. On the ground to the right side. Oh, look at the stop by Rizzo. There's one. So two away for the D-backs here in the sixth. And that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. Changed up on him, and he gets the inside corner for strike two. Fastball well outside. Hit the other way out toward right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Stepping up now, Anthony Rizzo. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Anthony Rizzo goes down for the first out in the seventh inning. In for strike two. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Trying to send him packing for the second time. This is in the air out to left field. Peralta on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Settling in now, Steven Souza. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Rowan Wick will come on now, and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Jason Hayward will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Jason Hayward. Here's the one and one delivery. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. A two ball, two strike count to the Diamondbacks catcher. Two two pitches fouled away. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. The two two doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now back, 
Into the box now. Christian Walker comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. The one two hit hard on the ground to the right. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. Pro will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. Second baseman, Hildemaro. Stepping in now, Hildemaro Vargas. Full count now, three and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And next to bat, it'll be the pitcher, Robbie Ray. The 1-1 home. Pulled toward right center field. Almora in pursuit. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Archie Bradley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 25, Archie. New inning set to get underway. And now here's the versatile outfielder, Albert Almora Jr. No hits to this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Ball two. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. A 1 1. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. In now, Javier Baez. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. First and second now, one man out. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Now Standing in, Chris Bryant. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA, and what does he do when he shows up? Rookie. Hold on now. That ball is down and could score a run. And they are on the board as the run scores from second to make this a 2-1 game now. Hector Rondon enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Now picking for the diamond. Into the box now, Wilson Contreras, and he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Jeremy Jeffress is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. He's working on a one for three thus far. Slap hard the opposite way. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Now with the plate, Nick Ahmed. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Ball two. two 
swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Into the box now, Patel Marte, 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 3-1. Line drive to center field, and that's in for a base hit. Make it a 1 for 3 game so far. Success on a 3 and 1 count to keep the inning alive here. So now to the plate, David Peralta. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Pulled toward right center field. On the run is Almora. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Andrew Chafin comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 47. And ready once again, Anthony Rizzo. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Now here's the pitch. Chafin is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he lays off now ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. In the air out to left. Peralta will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Nico Horner will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Nico Horner. Runner at first here, one man out. They have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Out to the plate now, Albert Almora. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Almora with an even count, two and two. <laughs> Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. And he misses nope. ball four, so now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Here he comes again, one, two. Hit hard on the ground to first. Right to him. The second for one. Back to first. It's a double play. Right when he needed it. And this ball game is over. Wow. That ninth inning was unbelievable. They load the bases with the tying run at third and the go-ahead run on second. But they can't find a way to bring him home. So close, but yet so far. Close one tonight. Two to one the final score. The D-backs used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Robbie Ray notches his third win of the year as he finishes seven innings allowing only one hit. John Lester pitched well allowing only two earned but ends up taking the loss. Andrew Chafin records the save his tenth. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Klezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. No error. They left five men on base.
for the Cubs. One run, four hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.